Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a graph using the program Microsoft Excel. What you can do is you can start up here in uh, cell A1. I'm going to go ahead and type in my X variable, which is time, and as well as my unit in parentheses, seconds. Then in uh, B1, I'm going to go ahead and type in velocity, which is measured in meters per second. If you want, you can uh, double click the vertical line by the letters and those will actually resize your column to fit all your data. And then I'm just going to go ahead and enter my values here. Uh, these can be any values you have depending on what you're measuring in your lab. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and put some numbers in here that represent freefall acceleration over time. Alright, so then once you've done that, you can actually select all your data here. Go up to um, the Insert tab. And you should see a, a group over here of, um, of different types of graphs. We're actually going to use this little uh, scatter plot right here. And that's just going to plot a point for each, uh, each value there. Now, as you can notice, it didn't actually title my graph right. So what I'm going to do is I'll just click on that title and rename it what my two variables are. We'll call it velocity versus time. And actually over here what you can do is you can add the axis labels that you want. So uh, we're actually going to go up to uh, well it's actually not in format. It's, it's still in design. We're going to go over to the very left. We're going to say add chart element. We're going to go down to axis titles and uh, we'll click one for our horizontal Again, we'll name that time in seconds. And then we're just going to go ahead and add one for the vertical up there, add chart element. You can edit that as you wish. Now, there's a couple neat things you can do with a scatter plot. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it is nice to see how you're data trends. What you can do is uh, go back to um, design here. You can actually go back to that add chart element and go to uh, trend lines down here. And uh, what that will give you is you can you actually go to more trend line options. You can choose several different kinds of trend lines. Whether your uh, graph is linear, uh, logarithmic, or polynomial as you can see when I try to do uh, logarithmic it won't let me because uh, it's not part of the function so let me just go ahead and bring those uh, trend line options back up here so you can do linear polynomial um, and what you can actually do depending on which fits your data better these actually both uh, seem to look the same on my data so it doesn't really make a difference but you can actually put an equation on and also a statistical R squared value to see how well your data matches up. Because my R squared is 1 in both of these cases, uh, it's a perfect match. Um, I should have used uh, more off values to show you that that R squared value might be a decimal. But whichever one's closest to the 1 is the one you're going to use. And what you can do is you can just uh, copy this 